You are tuned in to a special Player Spotlight interview on the CS Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the CS Podcast presented by the NUC NFL Draft Bible, bringing you the names that you need to know first since 2002. Visit NFLDraftBible.com. I'm your guys' host, Chris Shanafel, and joining the show now for a player spotlight interview is 2016 NFL Draft Prospect, wide receiver out of Division II's University of Virginia Weiss. He's Terrence Younger, and uh, Terrence, thanks for taking some time today, man. I mean, can you believe your time as a Cavalier has uh, come to an end? It's flown by. Like, I just remember, like, yesterday was my freshman year, and now I'm done with my four, four-year four tenure at UVA-wise, and it's, it's crazy how fast time flies. And you know what, uh, you know, looking back to your freshman year and to obviously looking at the player that you are today, I mean, what would you say has grown the most about you as a football player? I would say I've progressed from my freshman year to senior year with like being more of a versatile football player. My freshman year, I just played receiver. And from my freshman year up to my senior year, I've been returning punts, kickoff returns. I've just been a knowledgeable football player, and they can pretty much put me any anywhere on the field. I've, I was a lot – I was very stiff my freshman year, and uh, I'm pretty loose now. My hips are a lot looser than it was my freshman year, and I've been able to do a whole lot more stuff on the field. And, just I've grown a lot from my freshman year to senior year as a football player. And, and you know what, Terrence, you and I talked uh, at the start of the season, I, was, I, I believe it was right before the week one game against Tusculum. Um, I, I know that you held yourself and your team to some pretty high expectations. Um, can, can you believe that you guys finished one in 10? I can believe that because we had a great summer camp and we was coming off spring ball. We had a great spring together and, I thought, like, we were at least finished in the top half of the Mountain East. I mean, we was in a lot of games. We was in some close games, and it just slipped away from us. And it's crazy that we went one in 10. That was a very sad season for us, worse than uva wise history. Well, if you were able to go back in time and uh, change something about this season, maybe even before this season when you guys were getting set for that Week One matchup against Tusculum, I mean, what, what do you think? It, what, what do you think that would be? I mean, what, what do you think the reason was uh, for you guys to end uh, one in ten? I mean, um, I, I got to think that there's at least one thing you could kind of put your hand on. I think it would be more of like coming together, making our team camaraderie better, and just not giving up like I really think a major aspect in those games that we lost is because like when we would get down a lot of players would like get down on themselves if we were down by seven points they basically you could tell in the players eyes that they uh basically we were about to lose and the game was over we had some kids that was on board that was give it their all it's just we I think we should have stalled more during summer camp like the game is not over until in the fourth quarter when the clock is zero zero, and just we need to come together when times are bad and just pick our heads up and finish the game because I think that would have helped out a lot this season. And, and yeah, I mean, although you guys didn't have a great deal of team success, uh, it sounds like there's kind of a lot you could uh, kind of put your hand on. I mean, uh, you, you were able to put a, a pretty nice uh, season together individually, Terrence. I mean, uh, 62 receptions for over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns. I mean, um, obviously, you, I mean, any player would trade in the, the individual success for team success and, you know, uh, winning conference and all that good stuff. But uh, individually, I mean, are, are you okay with how you performed this season? I think I did okay. I wish I could have went over. I was very hoping for like 1,200, 1,300-yard season, about 10 to 15 touchdowns. But, I mean, it's kind of hard to do that with, like, all the stuff we had, the adversity we had to go through this season with, like, losing games. And I would trade the thousand, I would trade 1,200 yards definitely over the 1,000-yard season. But at least I hit 1,000 yards and I put up some decent numbers. But... I mean, I'm okay with it. I wish it could have been a lot better. Yeah, and you know what? I, I see that it was actually that week one matchup. You, uh, you you had a pretty nice game, eight receptions, 139 yards, and two scores. Um, I know I know the outcome of that game uh, wasn't what you guys were looking for, but but I got to think, you know, to start the season off with that kind of stat line uh, must have felt pretty good. 
I felt very good after the stat line. I actually went down in the game for about a series. I had a little sprained ankle. I felt like I could have put up a lot more yards that game. And I had, I think it was like 500-yard receiving games. I felt pretty good after week one, that week one matchup against Tufton because we had never played them before. And I didn't know what to expect out of the game. And I just did what I could to sign in the game. Again, he's wide receiver Terrence Young of the 2016 NFL Draft Prospect out of UVA Weiss. Joining me here on the CS Podcast, presented by the NUC NFL Draft Bible, bringing you the names that you need to know first since 2002. Visit NFLDraftBible.com. And, I mean, uh, Terrence, so overall, how would you describe your overall experience at UVA Weiss? Again, I know the you know the senior season, you, you expect to ha- you know do great things. And individually, you, you had a pretty nice season. Um, but obviously, as a team, it didn't go your guys' way, but uh, overall, I mean, how would you describe your experience there? I would describe it as I dealt with a lot of adversity. We didn't win a lot of games, and I would describe it as just sticking through, like, sticking through bad times and being able to overcome, like, things that, like, rough patches during, like, on the football season and in the classroom, and just, I would say my four-year tenure at Wise was like basically a growing experience, like what can I do when my back against the wall and how to overcome things when things are not going the way you want it to go. Well, talk about how hard it is to kind of keep a, a positive mindset when, when uh, like you said, you guys aren't seeing as much team success as you guys would have liked. I mean, uh, is that hard at all uh, to kind of uh, keep your keep your mind, keep your head in the game while you guys are uh, down by uh, a good a good margin of points? Uh, it's hard because, I mean, one, you're losing. Everybody wants to win. Everyone hates losing. Mm-hmm. And two, with me being a captain of the team, a bunch of the younger guys, like, they look up to me, and I can't set up a, a, a negative vibe around them, like, when we're losing and I do something bad. I just can't come around slamming my helmet and just get my head out of the game because, if I do that, since they're looking up to me, they don't feel like they can do the same thing and get away with it. It was just I had to stay positive during every aspect of the game. And if we lose, I couldn't just – I had to basically put a mask on my emotions after the game because I don't want, like, the younger guys to get down on themselves and have to go through their tenure at wise doing the same thing and just mess it up for the guys that's coming in in the future. Well, where, where do you think the program is at for the future? I mean, obviously they're they're losing, and I'm not just saying this just because you're on the program. Obviously, they're they're losing. Uh, you know, one of their probably one of the best wide receivers in UVA Weiss uh, history. In yourself, I mean, uh, and I know that they'll be uh, hiring a new coaching staff, a new head coach, I believe, here coming soon. Uh, what do you think about the future uh, for the pro uh, football program at UVA Weiss? I think it's. They got a bright future ahead. They're going to have about 18 seniors and have a lot of leaders in Zach Blair, Timmy Metter, uh, Christopher Flood. They're going to have – it's a bright future for them, guys. They got Randy Kuma, Benjamin Funny. And, like, with, with losing me, I think it's – now will come down to – they got a bunch of young receivers and Juwan Massenberg and Jacobs and James Cousins, and they're going to just jail together. And this new coaching staff, I think he's going to have a great bunch of kids and he can bring them together and install how to get through adverse times. I think they will have a great season this upcoming season. And again, he is the wide receiver of UVA Weiss, Terrence Younger, the 2016 NFL Draft Prospect. Joining me here on the CS Podcast, presented by the NUC NFL Draft Bible. And uh, Terrence, I mean, you, you take a look at your film, your, your highlight film, and I got to say, man, it, it's really impressive. I, I see a very physical, uh, deep threat wide receiver that's not afraid to go up and get it. Um, if I were to ask you what your most memorable play of your uh, collegiate career was, what, what would that be? Uh, my most memorable play, I would have to say, it's kind of hard. Because uh, there's so many of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say this uh, this catch I made uh, this past season in the homecoming um, game against West Virginia State. It was, a, it was a little seam route, and Jeremy Eubank just, he just hung it out there to me, and it looked like it was about to get picked off. And, 
I just raised my hands up and I took it from the safety from West Virginia State and I was running it in. I got tripped up on the two yard line. It was one of the most amazing catches I've had in my school year, UJ wide or football season. Nice. Now, uh, you know, you, I mentioned, I mean, very physical. Again, a, a nice, deep threat, not afraid to go up and get it. Uh, what would you say is your biggest strength as a wide receiver, and uh, what is something that you still believe that you can get better at? I think my biggest strength is, like, being physical. I'm not going to let the defensive back just beat up on me and just not being afraid to be out there and take hits and make plays because you're going to get hit regardless if you're scared contact and you don't want to get beat up on on the football field. Sports not for you. So I think I need to work on more of basically, I mean, you can use your physicality on the field a lot, but being more of like not trying to do instead of like running someone over all the time or just being physical with them, just making them miss and avoiding all that and getting more yards after the catch. Okay. And when I think of a physical wide receiver, I mean, obviously I, I'm thinking of a, a very strong wide receiver that's not afraid of contact. And I also think of a receiver that uh, he, he doesn't mind blocking. I mean, where where are you when it comes to blocking? And how do you feel about your uh, game when it comes to blocking? I think about blocking. When you're blocking the defensive back, you just can't go like – all out of hand and like too physical with blocking because you might end up missing the block and that might be a key aspect in the game. I like to basically just stare at the defensive back's hips and basically dictate where he's going and get up in his chest and just everything is on you then. You just got to be use your strength and you know, just avoid him from making a tackle or making a play on a ball carrier or whoever has the ball. And I really like the little, like, track back blocking. That's something that I really excelled in in my four year at UVA Wise. Again, he's Terrence Younger, the wide receiver out of the University of Virginia Weiss, uh, 2016 NFL draft prospect, joining me here on the CS Podcast. And, uh, again, Terrence, just a few more questions for you, and then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time. Um, who would you say is the best player that you've had to go up against over the last four years? I mean, d- does anybody specific stand out? Uh, I would definitely say Howard Jones from Shepard. He's playing with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh he just had it all. He had all the intangibles of being a great football player, and he's pursuing it at the NFL level. He's a, he's a very strong defensive end. He was fast, and just looking at him on the field, he looks like a creative player off Madden. <laughs> he's, he's a beast. And what does that do to your confidence, seeing some guys from the Division Two level from your conference, some some guys that you uh, you know go up against uh, week by week? I mean, what what's it do to your confidence seeing those guys get an opportunity to uh, play at the next level? It boosts my it boosts my confidence very high because a lot of people like they think because you're Division Two that you don't have what the Division One players have. It's because most Division Two players are. There are Division One prospects that couldn't get into a Division One school, and they get overlooked. And seeing Division Two players make it to the NFL is just boosts my confidence very high that I can have a shot to do what they're doing. Absolutely. And uh, switching gears here for a moment, Terrence. I mean, uh, you know, seeing as your season has been over for just over a month now, uh, what have you been doing since your last collegiate game, and uh, what do you plan on doing uh, from here on out until the uh, NFL draft comes around? I've had a lot of time on my hands, <laughs> too much time, actually. Uh, I've just started back working out with my coach a couple weeks back, and I'm just working out and training back home and working on my hip strength, trying to get faster and healing up from the season. My body went through war for 11 games, and I just want the opportunity to be able to play in the NFL or CFL and just have a shot to showcase my talent and show the NFL agents and scouts what I can do. Yeah, absolutely, and we are still searching for an agent for you, Terrence. Now, uh, until that time comes, um, is that what you're going to be uh, doing, though? Is that where you're going to be training at, back at home and uh, back at school? Yes, sir. I'm going to be training back at home. I might stop. Uh, in the past couple summers, summers I was uh, working out with a speed trainer up at Liberty University because that's right in my hometown. Uh, I 
probably will start back doing that before I go back to school on January 11th and start back training with my strength coach, Jared Burden. Okay. Um, any idea when and where your pro day will be? I plan on trying to get into Richmond's pro day because the head coach, uh, Danny Rocco, when I was being recruited by Liberty out of high school, he was very high on recruiting me. And he's now the head coach at the Richmond Spiders, and they're in the playoffs right now and in the semifinals. And I plan on emailing him and reaching out to him to see if I come to their pro day once their season is over with. Oh, yeah, and that that would be huge. I mean, they, they have a few nice prospects themselves, the Richmond Spiders. Um, and, and now I'll ask, uh, what are your goals for your pro day? I mean, do you have any uh, numbers that you uh, have in mind that you'd like to hit? I would like to hit about a high 4-4 four, four on the 40. Uh, I'm going to try to get to at least 11 inches on the broad jump. I'm around the 10-inch range right now, mid-10-inch, and just let everything else be for itself. I feel like I have a great vertical jump. I know I'll do great on the bench press, and I just want to put together great numbers so I can get noticed. Yeah, absolutely, and it seems like I say this uh, in just about every interview, but, uh, you know, I mean, these pro days, these, uh, you know, regional combines, if you decide to participate in any one of those, I mean, these these are huge for uh, any player, but uh, especially for small school uh, players like yourself, Terrence. And a final question for you, and then I'll let you go, and that is, uh, let's say we have an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. Why should they want Terrence Young or wide receiver out of the University of Virginia Weiss a part of their team? Because I'm very knowledgeable of the game. You can put me anywhere and I would excel. And I'm going to come in each day and give her my all, my hard work. And my that's my hard work will never be questioned. I will do whatever it takes to make the team successful and the program successful and just give it my all each and every day that I'm in. And no matter where he puts me at, if I'm on the practice squad, I'll do whatever it takes to make the team better. And, of course, this is a player that you do not have to worry about off the field. Um, Terrence, we've been connected for the last few months uh, since the start of your uh, senior season. And, uh, again, man, I'm really wishing you all the best as you get set for the 2016 NFL Draft. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for all you've done.